Hey peeps, in today's video, we'll be engraving black acrylic with our Montport fiber laser. We'll also be cutting the acrylic with our 55 watt Montport CO2 laser. So let's get to the project. The first thing we'll do for this project is set up our engraving and light burn. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and bring in our design. Just gonna be this little dirt bike guy. We are going to trace it, right click, trace image. And that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and delete the image now because we don't need that anymore. And now we're just gonna go ahead and resize this to how we want it. And we'll make sure that it is locked. I think about two inches wide is good enough. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this into a little keychain. Now, one of the great aspects of black acrylic is when you engrave it on a fiber laser, it actually turns the black into a white. We're gonna utilize that laser, our fiber laser, to do the engraving, but a fiber laser isn't really good at cutting acrylic. So we're gonna end up using our CO2 laser to cut it. So we're gonna actually save this file in two parts after we get the design complete. So right now, we're just gonna be setting up the cutting aspect of the design, and then later we're gonna save this file connected to our fiber laser to do the engraving piece. It'll make sense here when we get to it. To get this to turn into our little keychain, we're gonna obviously need to make kind of an offset here to cut out. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this design. Just to make this a little bit easier to see, we're gonna turn this into a line real quick. Okay, so now, I'll do an offset and see if I can just get the outer edge. Okay, I need to kind of delete all of these inside lines. So I'm going to ungroup it now, and then I'm going to hit Command and select my outside edge to unselect that, and then I'm gonna hit Delete. And then there we go. Now we have our nice design, and we have a clean outer edge to do an offset with. Um, so, I just increase this a little bit. That should be good right there. And then I can delete this offset here. Okay, just like that. Add this little ring here. And I'm just gonna kind of position it where I think it needs to be. And then I'll add another ring for the hole. And I'll just kind of position that centered in this circle here. And then what I can do is I can merge these two together. Just like that. So that's gonna be our keychain. Pretty easy, right? So what we're gonna be doing here is gonna be using our CO2 laser to cut out our acrylic. So we're gonna use it, the laser to cut out the hole and then obviously the outer edge. As it sits right now, I'm going to save this file. Well, actually, let's go ahead and get the settings in first. Uh, and we can go back to our materials library. Well, first of all, let me see. I kind of don't want this. I'm going to put this on toolpath for this file because we're not going to use it. In our materials library, we're going to go to our acrylic setting, our acrylic cut, assign to our black layer. And yep, can confirm that. Here's our settings. And that's really it for the CO2 laser. So I'm going to go ahead and save this now. Save. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to change, without adjusting anything, change to our fiber laser. You can see it kind of flips our design here. I can go ahead and select everything, flip it back. And then we're not gonna adjust the size at all. That's very important here is we don't wanna adjust our size. But you can see here now we're on a much smaller workspace because our fiber laser is a much smaller area for engraving. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit P to center this. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually use this black outline to do a very light engraving on black paper where it's gonna allow me to set this in place exactly where it needs to go before I do the engraving of what is currently the toolpath, I'm gonna to convert into a engraving layer here. Let's get our engraving uh, settings right real quick. But like I said, the only thing we're gonna be doing on the fiber laser is now this blue layer on the keychain itself, and the black line is just gonna give us an outline for the fiber laser. So the first thing I need to do is make sure, let's see which way we want it to go, because everything that we do is gonna be inverted, meaning 
what is dark here is actually going to be light and I want to make sure that uh, we're not making this look a little weird because it'll be inverted in color. So I'm going to select everything, group that, and then I'm going to do this offset again, really small offset. Ungroup, command, select the outside edge, delete. Okay. All right. So now everything here is what is going to be shown engraved in white. So this is kind of the result that we want to get, I believe. All right. So let's get our settings in. We'll go to our material library real quick. We are doing acrylic. We're here in our now fiber laser library. We'll go to our acrylic, engrave, assign it to the blue layer here. Verify we got our settings in. Okay, so here's all our settings. We're gonna be using 1500 millimeters per second at 60% power, and we'll do an interval of 0.025, Q pulse of 200, and frequency of 50. And we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and open this up real quick because I want to verify we do have cross hatching on, and it's gonna be doing it at a 45 degree angle. Yep, everything looks good there. And now to our line, so we'll just do a very light engraving on black paper that will give us a nice white line to set this in. And that should be good to give us a white marking on our black paper. And again, we're just using this uh, to align ourselves. And that should be it. Okay, so here's the acrylic we're gonna be using here, just a eighth inch black acrylic here. And then couldn't find black paper, we got this dark blue paper that we're gonna use to do that outline on our fiber laser. So we're gonna tape this down to the fiber laser to make sure it doesn't move and that will line us up. But first, let's cut out the keychain. If you're wanting to purchase this Momport 55 watt CO2 laser or any machine off the Momport website, you can use your code anonymous10 for 10% off. We'll have links and details in the description. All right, now we've got it cut out. We're done with the CO2 laser. Let's move on over to the fiber laser. Very important here. I don't want this to move because it's our alignment. So if it moves, then we just kind of defeated the purpose of doing this entire step. So I'm gonna tape this down. So that's not gonna go anywhere. Take the lens cap off. That's focused. And then we're only gonna be using this outer edge here to do just a quick pass on our paper. Let's frame that out. So I think I'm gonna do two passes with this.
flawless. And that's pretty flawless results right there. Couldn't have asked for better results. I love how black acrylic turns white under the fiber laser. It's a different kind of engraving. There's no, it doesn't dig into the acrylic. It actually bubbles and raises the acrylic up just a tiny bit. So you can feel the texture there a little bit, but it's not rough or anything. It's really smooth. I don't know, it's just kind of like a, a matte feel to it compared to the glossy black acrylic. And obviously the contrast is what I really love about this. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it.